Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way. And I have mixed emotions after that gutting result at the end there. Very similar to the Leeds game just a few days ago. Watford concede late on to draw the game and unfortunately don't take away uh, all three points. And I say I have mixed emotions because yes, of course, uh, I'm gutted Watford didn't win that game. However, that's three games now unbeaten uh, under Tom Cleverley. And actually, you look at the opposition Watford have faced, a 1-0 win away at Birmingham City, a 2-2 draw at home to Leeds, uh, and a 2-2 draw away from home at West Brom. Two of them teams are fighting for promotion, and Birmingham City are scrapping away themselves in the relegation battle. And actually, aside from the Birmingham game, I think the performances against Leeds and today against West Brom uh, were brilliant. I actually felt really, um, I don't think emotional is right, the right word, but I felt proud to watch this Watford team fight uh, and battle for each other. Um, and I felt really pleased actually for Tom Cleverley and, you know, clearly the work he's put in so far, <clears throat> excuse me, has, has paid off. So, um, yeah, gutting to, to lose it late on once again. That's clearly been an issue for us this season, our defence. Um, you know, we've had lots of issues this season. Our final third play hasn't been good, been good enough. And that was evident again today. Uh, Jamal Lewis especially not uh, connecting with, with all his crosses as as he should do. Um, I think he, he probably was our weak point today. But look, largely as, as a performance Really, really happy. Um, I think Aspria changed the game when he came on. Rajevic, I'm a big critic of his, um, but he did ultimately get that second goal. He was in the right place at the right time and actually thought his hold-up play was pretty decent in that second half. Um, and then Kayembe, of course, the goal Kayembe scored. is similar to previous goals he scored. Um, but, but look, I think he was man of the match for me. Again, physical, dominant presence in that midfield. Um, and yeah, today for me, he bossed it once again. Thomas Asante for West Brom, probably their most dangerous player. He got their first goal uh, and Furlong ultimately got their equalising goal just before uh, the full-time whistle. But look, I don't want to repeat myself too much. <clears throat> Very proud of the, of the what the performance. You can hear I'm losing my voice actually as I do this match reaction because I was doing a watch along here live on the Watford way. Uh, so make sure you go and check that out if you want to see my reactions to the goals as they went in. Um, but yeah, look, Watford ultimately have nothing to play for anymore. We're safe from relegation. We've hit that magic 50 point mark in the championship. We're not going to go down. We're not going to go up. We're not going to reach them playoff positions. I think it's time just to have fun, experiment with the team uh, and ultimately have the discussion on whether Tom Cleverley should be appointed the full-time Watford manager. For me, I'm still undecided. Emotionally, that side of me says absolutely appoint him right now, right this second. Um, but equally, the other more maybe sensible side of my personality is saying let's just wait a little bit longer um, to see what happens. But Tom Cleverley has certainly done a lot to impress myself uh, and a lot of other Watford fans already in his short managerial career so far. Uh, and let's hope that continues as Watford take on Preston North End at Vicarage Road uh, on Saturday afternoon. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and let me know your thoughts on the match in the comments section down below. I'll be back on Thursday evening for our Preston North End match preview. Uh, hopefully, Watford will pick up another three points under the guidance of Tom Cleverley. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.